There's a lot of distractions in the world right now. Sports, Hollywood, Trump, Russia. Tune all that out. Turn this one up. Wrestling Reality here with Justin LaBar, presented to you by Ticket King. The number one place that you need to go for your tickets, ladies and gentlemen. TicketKing.net, TicketKingOnline.com. Go to the Ticket King app. Yes. If you go to Ticket King, you can get 15% off of your WWE tickets. You can get 10% off anything else. All you got to do is use the code LABARFAN. You're going to go to a place that's going to give you a great selection of tickets. They're also going to give you awesome customer service. going to make you feel important. going to value your dollar that you're putting in to their products. We are on the road to WrestleMania. It is the most exciting time of the year. That's right. As we are, what, about six weeks away, I believe it is? We're going to April 2nd, whatever it is. You do the math. Point is, I'm, I, I'm talking wrestling every day. I can't, I can't sit here and do a countdown. We're on our way to April 2nd, Orlando. It's going to be the weekend that we always know it to be. It is always a weekend that we go. We have all kinds of expectations. We get swerves. We get surprises. The bar has a cocktail. We get together in Orlando. It's going to be a good time. If you are going to be in Orlando, spend a little time with the mouse. Mickey's a good guy, but make sure you find Labar. We will, uh, of course, be doing a gathering uh, not far from or uh, the stadium in Orlando prior to WrestleMania on Mania Sunday. We'll give out details to that as we get a little bit closer. Also, as I normally do uh, every year, we try to have a, a special guest. You know, we've had we've had. Matt Stryker, we've had Matt Hardy, so we'll we'll, we'll see. We'll see. You know, we've had Vince Russo. <laughs> we'll see. We'll be. Uh, we'll see what happens this year. We'll see who shows up. It shall be a good time. And of course, we'll be shooting some extra social media videos, uh, so you can get your ugly or beautiful mug, depending on who you are, on on camera and have your voice be heard. My voice has been heard. I said it, so it shall be. <laughs> Can you smell it? It's the smell of freedom. No, it's fish. No, it's freedom. No, it's fish. That's a Home Alone 2 reference. No, can you smell it? It's not what The Rock is cooking. Can you smell it? It is the smell of a triple threat match. It is the smell of two glorious beards and Bray Wyatt and Luke Harper coming together with the veteran and Randy Orton. I don't know why I reference a beard, but the beards are so magnificent you got to give it some love. I would never grow a beard like that. It would come in patchy. Um, this is exactly what WrestleMania is going to need because look at the flip side here. Look over a Monday Night Raw. Look over with the Universal title. Truth be told, as rewarding as it would be for the Kevin Owens-Chris Jericho feud, which we will touch on in a moment here, as rewarding as it would be for it to have the Universal title on the line, as we've been discussing for the last couple weeks, since we knew Goldberg was going to be at Fastlane, it just does not seem really plausible. It, I mean, we, we, it, we, we're staring it right in the eye, so we might as well just stare back and hope that it blinks. The odds are getting greater by the day that Goldberg is going to win this Universal title, and he is going to be defending that Universal title against Brock Lesnar. So, And that's its own draw. So you're going to have a match there between two guys who have physically interacted at Royal Rumble and physically interacted at Survivor Series for about a combined two minutes. Actually, I think it's probably just under two minutes. I don't even think they... I mean, there was a minute 26 in Survivor Series. I don't I don't think they hit 34 seconds at Rumble together. So that's going to be hit them hard, hit them fast, marquee names, a whole lot of entrance, big fight feel. The entrances could be longer than the fight. So it makes sense on the opposite side of, of things with the WWE Championship on the Tuesday night show that we have a triple threat, that we have something that's going to have a higher work rate, that we have something that's going to have three very unique characters, that we have something that's going to be, for the first time ever potentially, Luke Harper as a champion, or at least the first title reign right now in Bray Wyatt walking in and trying to walk out with the title. It's also a story that's, that's dominated SmackDown. The Wyatt family dynamic has dominated SmackDown for the majority of SmackDown's time with its new roster since the brand split this past summer. So, as I said, I wondered which payoff was more important. Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt, Bray Wyatt and Luke Harper, what the hell, more the merrier, let's put it all in one. As I said, over on the other side, Chris Jericho, Kevin Owens, wow, wow, wow.